This video was made possible by Good Better Best Tuition Services. Please subscribe to this channel for the latest videos. Today we are going to be discussing the conventions of algebra or the rules that govern algebra. Let's look at our definitions. A constant, this is a number whose value does not change. And what is a variable? A variable is a letter which represents any unknown value. Now a numerical coefficient. This is the number value in a given term. And an alphabetical coefficient. This is the variable in a given term. For example, in the term 5n, 5 is the numerical coefficient and n is the alphabetical coefficient. So if we look at negative x to the power 4 minus 2 plus x squared over 7 plus 2x minus 9x to the power 6 plus 4x cubed, the highest degree of this expression is 6 because the highest exponent is x to the power 6. So we've got this expression or this term minus 9x to the power 6 and that is the term with the highest degree. So when they ask you what is the highest degree of this expression, you will say that the answer is 6. Okay, so let's continue with our definitions. A monomial is an expression with one term. A binomial is an expression with two terms. A trinomial is an expression with three terms. And a polynomial is an expression with many terms. Now, algebraic language is the mathematical way of writing expressions. So if I say, what does the sum of x and 5 mean? It means that we need to add the two together. And the way that we write that is x plus 5. This is called algebraic language. I'd like to look at a few examples. The sum of 15 and x is equal to 15 plus x. The difference between 5 and a number is the same thing as x minus 5. Number 3, a number that is 3 more than x is x plus 3. A number that is 3 times more than x is 3 times x or 3x. When we ask you to increase a number by 4, what we are asking you to do is add 4 to the value, so that will be x plus 4. A number that is decreased by 6, what we are asking you to do is subtract 6 from the number. The product, product means multiply. So when we say work out the product of 3 and x, that will give us 3x and quotient, quotient means you need to divide. So the quotient is actually the answer of 15 over x. Now x is a variable. That means that we need to just write this expression as 15 over x because x is an unknown value. And then if you need tuition in maths, accounting, physics, English, or Afrikaans, please feel free to contact me on 082-781-7703. Thank you for watching.